What's like the most expensive piece of clothing that you go <laughs> skating in? I've done some pretty stupid shit in the past. I had like a four hundred dollar t shirt or something that really? destroyed, yeah. Just skating. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> relationship with say Ryan Allen mm -hmm. or Christina right or Russell yeah is it easier when you've got these people you trust that are holding the camera yeah because I know they're gonna they're gonna do a good job and they're not gonna make me look like shit yeah like Ryan and Christina they're kind of like my American mom and dad almost mm -hmm. they've stayed at the house a bunch and they're just yeah they've, they've helped me a lot give me good advice and they're both like awesome photographers. And I see portraits of all these people that I've looked at <laughs> for a couple of years now, and I didn't realize they were her photos. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, "Oh, that Arto photo of him holding." Yeah, that's her. Yeah. That's her. And then there's a photo of you smoking. That was yeah. her. I thought that's some like of her them most, were Ryan. The, that's her most prized one because that, that got like a lot of reblogs. I'd actually got just got done filming the trick in his in Arto's bowl. And then I was like, well, fuck it. I just went and like, chucked a bunch of water on my face because it was boiling hot. Yeah. I was smoking. She's like, just stand there and smoke. So I'm like, and then she snapped that photo and then that's how it came about. And there was a bunch of guys who were sitting over there like, oh, fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, yeah <laughs> well, I think people always think there's more to that. Like, it was planned to look that way and there was yeah. makeup. And yeah, it's just spontaneous. You're like, oh, I'm going to look wet and sexy. <laughs> no, I literally just fuck, chucked a bunch of water on my face because I was dying. Yeah. And I was smoking a cigarette because I was fucking losing my mind. I remember I interviewed Ryan recently for Concrete Photo Annual, and he said that one of the rad things about Dylan was that Dylan was willing to shoot. And he said it about Tom K as well, is that mm -hmm. they're willing to just try these different weird yeah. things. And but sometimes it, that's when you get the best photo. I watched you walk into that AYC party and hit the red carpet. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you were like, sunglasses on camera started going you were like pro red carpet guy mm. like, where do you, i'm serious like i have a photo of you just killing it on the red carpet <laughs> yeah. i think once you're up there and there's people like shh, 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 look over here look over here it's pretty fucking it's pretty cool you know it doesn't happen very often just fucking enjoy it and stop fucking worrying about shit yeah the skateboarding is kind of uptight sometimes yeah. like it's it's supposed to be fun and accepting people like notice the color of your shoelaces <laughs> Everybody loves skateboarding to death, mm. right? We all love it. Yeah, that's what it comes down to at but the end of the day. people, they all have their view of what skateboarding should be, and they're trying to preserve it or protect it from yeah. something that they, they think isn't skateboarding. So if someone thinks you wearing a bunch of rings yeah. or cutting the collar off your shirt or whatever like isn't skateboarding to them. Yeah, I mean, people you fucking saw he was doing that 20 years ago, cutting the sleeves off and yeah. wearing a headband and shit. It's always been like that. I feel like the guys that always talk shit are the guys that just aren't where they want to be in life. Yeah. And they're just like, if they talk shit on people, it's going to make them feel bad somehow. Do you remember how many people were talking shit on Dylan when that video part came out? Exactly. And talking shit on the shoe. Yeah. And now... And then everyone was running it. Yeah. It's a lot of Dylan talk. <laughs> I see... We got a trend. I see me... I see... I yeah, but it pisses me off because like people talk shit on him, but, like they don't actually know how fucking good he is. It's like who gives a fuck if he wears some fucking three hundred dollar t shirt? There's all these people out there in the world making fun of our friends, mm. and you start to get bummed out, like that your friends yeah. sort of. It's not that <clears throat> Dylan or anybody can't handle it themselves, but you start to get bummed out that your friends getting bagged on. Just like in the long scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, like the the people talking shit, they're gonna go nowhere. It's the same in anything. It's like fucking Justin Bieber. Perfect example. He's a, I mean, he, he probably comes across as a kook. Yeah. He's probably a nice guy. Yeah. But kind of people just think he's an asshole. But look how many fucking people he makes happy. But I mean, fuck. That's dude, pretty cool. He probably cool. nails so many chicks. That's why dudes fucking don't like it. Because they're not taking down as many chicks as he is. These guys talking shit just need to go and get fucking laid. <laughs> like, Lays. if you're getting laid a lot, you don't have time to go on the slap <laughs> for him. I think we just nailed it. Let's just talk about style. That's a good one. Because that's I a fucking reoccurring thing. I think it's just how you carry yourself, and not just on the skateboard, just in in general. Yeah. 
don't know. I think style is such a wide, like a wide range of things to take into account. It doesn't necessarily have to be like, oh, he dresses well. Or yeah. Does this trick good? I think it can be anything. It's like as long as it just looks cool. I yeah. think if you're like an outsider of from skating, you could still pick up pretty quickly on who's got a good style and who doesn't. Do you know anyone who has good style that doesn't have good taste, though? Like, I feel like the two sort of go hand in hand. No, I think if you... That's a good question. Fuck. I just look at, like, Danny Garcia. Or... Mm, he's got great or, style. Or, or even, like, Jason Dill. Like, mm-hmm. They skate, they look great on a skateboard, but when you talk to them about food or yeah. drinks it's, or yeah, music or, or their the taste board. in women, mm-hmm. they, it, they nail it every yeah. time. Yeah, they may like have a different taste in women to you, but it's like a certain you can't argue. fine taste. Yeah, you still like yeah, it's, it's tight. The skating's in such a weird place now that I think people are like having to find their own individual style to yeah. stand out from everyone else. There's all these kids everywhere that are fucking amazing, but unless you like, unless you can stand out and like capture someone's imagination, yeah, it's never really gonna matter. Ever since I was, you know, 13, 14, I was just a fun, stood out for me, always, and fucking yeah. Arto, and like Jeff was a good one. Jeff's not like, you know, fashion dude. He had his own thing going on, you know. Yeah. Like Heath is like that. Like yeah, first. Heath, perfect example. The old white. Yeah, like, like a lot of people, people are doing pull that. that off, but now people do it. So, I think, you know, a couple of years down the line, you may, like, every skater may be wearing fucking... Product. <laughs> yeah. I don't know.